Welcome back to reading children's books with Kids Book Pub and publishing our children's stories. So we are one week away from Easter and I don't know if you guys are excited as the children in my household but there's a lot of energy and giggles coming on. Plus it's spring so you know you get a little chance to go outside. Uh, well although we had a snowstorm yesterday. <laughs> but this is Montana and that's what we're going to read about today. The Littlest Bunny in Montana. This is written by Lily Jacobs, and the illustrations are done by Robert Dunn and Darren Holmes. So I hope you enjoy. The Littlest Bunny in Montana. Not long ago, in a land you might know, lived a girl named May and a boy named Joe. They had moved to Montana and longed to explore. Make new friends, have adventures, and many things more. On the day before Easter, they rode into town. They went to the pet store and looked all around. There in the front was a pen full of bunnies. They were small ones were cute and the big ones were funny. They played with the bunnies and thought for a bit. And then they agreed on the most perfect fit. The littlest bunny with the sweetest small hop. He's ours, May announced. Let's call him Flop. So Flop joined the family that sunny spring day. The littlest bunny was home to stay. They played with the bunny until it was late, then settled Flop into his cozy, snug crate. May gave Flop a kiss, and Joe patted his head. And then the two children both climbed into bed. A soft evening breeze blew in through the window, and May and Joe smiled as they slept on their pillow. But Flop had no time now to close his own eyes. He was preparing an Easter surprise. He was quite little, that much was true. But tonight our dear Flop had a big job to do, for he had a secret he hadn't let show. He was the Easter Bunny and had to go. A magical wind gave his whiskers a tickle, his nose how it twitched, his ears how they wiggled. Soon, Flop was quite different than ever before, and he couldn't wait, not for one moment more. He raced through the house and out into the night, to where he had hidden his eggs out of sight. His marvelous burrow held Easter eggs plenty, to be quite exact, nine million and twenty. He packed up the eggs, he looked at the map, he fastened his goggles and his red flying cap. Then the Flop hopped right into his hot air balloon, and soon he was soaring as high as the moon. And as he watched his first stop grow nearer and nearer, his treasure state mission became even clearer. First Flop balanced eggs on a tall building top. Then he went to the park, spreading eggs as he hopped. And then he dashed off for an Easter home run. Then quietly hit chocolate ones, one by one. With big bounces here and giant jumps there, Flop hid eggs from Montana everywhere. For he flew to the east, to the south, west, and north. He crisscrossed the state. He raced back and forth. Helena, Billings, and Bozeman got treats. Then Great Falls and Kalispell both were complete. Butte and Missoula, the long list went on. Flop was delivering his eggs until dawn. Finally, Flop found his very last stop. He came to your house with a bounce and a hop, and there he delivered his Easter egg surprises. So many eggs of all shapes and sizes. And when he was done, he stopped for a rest. Yes, surely this Easter was one of the best. The morning sun rose on that bright Easter day. It was time to wake up for Joe and for May. But when they went over to find their friend Flop, the door was wide open. His crate was unlocked. There were eggs to discover, as all children know. But we just want Flop, cried May and cried Joe. They looked under their beds. They looked all around. But the littlest bunny just could not be found. But whose goggles were these? Who unfolded this map? Then from round the corner came a faint tap, tap, tap. They rushed and they stumbled. It had to be him. And there they found baskets, and someone else was tucked in. It's Flop, they cried, and they held him so close. 
Joe tickled his ears and May kissed his pink nose. Flop hugged them back, his new friends so dear. Happy Easter, Montana. See you next year. The Littlest Bunny in Montana. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to both like and share it so others can enjoy it as well. Happy Easter, you guys. And if you do get your own copy of The Littlest Bunny in Montana, which you can follow the link below, then go check out all of the pages, or at least the last 10 pages, I believe. They have eggs. 20 eggs are hidden within the pages. So it's a little look and find book as well.